What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to my channel. Right now we are going to do something I haven't done in a minute which is get ready with me. Let's go. So as you can see I'm in my bathroom. Uh, there has been some life changing updates but I'm not ready to share them with you just yet. Uh, but when I will, uh, when I am ready, uh, I'll let you guys know. Um, and yes, I am in a different uh, space. So anyway, um, but I'll share that later on. So I've already put on my, uh, so what I do is that I use the Fit Me by, I'm sorry, it's uh, the finishing powder. So I put on the Boost finishing powder first and then I spray some uh, finishing spray by e.l.f. And I put that on. Ooh. Now, I saw this on uh, that uh, Raven Elise TV, and she uses a fan instead of doing like this. You know, a fan actually helps a lot better. And I think I showed you guys this fan before that I got from uh, uh, when I went to go visit in South Carolina when I went for a uh, site visit trip for one of my clients who um, is a breast cancer organization, Sisters Network, which I've told you about before. And I did a site visit with that particular affiliate chapter in South Carolina and the president gifted me with that fan, which I thought was really cool. And so after I do the setting spray, I go in with uh, my face primer and I use the one by e.l.f. And it's almost out, so I have to, uh, I don't know why, I just like to get all the product, all of it that I can out of it before I throw it away. I do have a new bottle, but I'm just trying to you know, use all of this one first. So, and then when I get it all out, I will use the next one. So in case you're wondering, this technique um, that I'm doing, I saw on a YouTube video uh, in 2021, and I just liked it and it's, uh, it really works. It's kind of going backwards with doing the primer and the setting, uh, the setting lotion to usually do uh, at the end uh, with the setting spray. So anyway, after I do that, I mix my foundation, which I use um, Julie Jiva. Uh, I mix this one, and this is number, this is Savannah, number 440. I don't know if you can see that. And then I use the Fit Me Dewy Smooth, number 330, which is this one right here. And I mixed the two, put it on my and I just do a little dab, that's all I need, so a little dab. And then I use this foundation and just put a little bit in here as well. This is almost out also, so, but I have more. There we go. And then I use Use my brush so it's here on my hand and then I just mix it together and then let's put it dab it on my face so we get full coverage on my eyes as well I have to look at myself in the camera so I can make sure I don't uh, poke myself in the eye here so yeah make sure that that's blended in well, I do, I go on to the next step. Now, once I do my foundation, I like to clean up my eyebrows a little bit because the next step that I do is that I put on my eyeliner. And I've done the, uh, you know, the brush where you kind of brush them on or whatever. But I still kind of like to use a pencil. So this is Brown by Wet n Wild. So this is the one that I use. Now I'm gonna have to come back because I have to pay attention in the mirror. <laughs> okay, I think I can kind of look a little bit, but so I start with this line underneath as you can see, and then I just kind of do these strokes like this, you know, to make it look like hair as much as possible. And then this one out too far out to the side. Okay, let me finish this in the mirror and I'll come back. Okay, so as you can see, when I do these, it's like big, bushy eyebrows. And I don't care because I always tend to shape them the way I want. So I take um, 
this uh, concealer and it's also by Fit Me. So a lot of my, a lot of the products that I use are either by Fit Me or by e.l.f. Um, and they just work for my skin. Meanwhile, I'll put some under here and then I put some under here. And then I take uh, this brush. So I got this brush, this is a makeup kit set. And then I just, you know, brush it down with the highlighter. And the same thing on this side, just brush it down, you know, shape it, even it out. Okay, again, let me finish this in the mirror. <laughs> and voila, here you go. Not perfect all the time. Sometimes I get them exactly perfect. Sometimes I don't, but for now, this will do. All right, on to the next step. So then after I use the highlighter and I shape my eyebrows, I use the same highlighter to go under my eyes. So I'll put it in here. I really don't know what the science is to this. They say that if you're this age, do this while 53. And so I just put it on. I don't know what to do, how to do it, what not to do. I saw this one video where they were like, you know, if you're a woman of a particular age, blah, blah, blah. But for me, age is just a number. So I just put it on the way I like to. So instead of pulling it down, I pull it up. And I also saw this from, you know, Raven Louise, uh, cause it keeps you from, you know, your skin from sagging and getting fine lines over there. So I just stroke up with the brush until I get it all blended in. And I always do this. Don't worry, I will blend and, you know, even all of this out. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I've kind of blended it or uh, as much as I can all out. And then I put on uh, the Banana Photo Focus by Wet n Wild, the banana powder, if you will. Um, I don't really let it set for a long time. I know you're supposed to put it on and then do something else. This is how it looks. And I use this brush and I just kind of dab, dab, dab. Here and then here. Now, I've stated before, I am not a makeup artist. I just put makeup on to, you know, go throughout my day so I can look, you know, presentable or what have you. And uh, it works, so this is what I use. All right, on to the next. So while I'm letting the banana powder set on my face, I will do my eyeshadow. And um, this is Wet n Wild Color Icon. Um, and I have several of these uh, different colors that I like to use, different color palettes. Um, I don't know, I just, I just like them all because these are usually colors that I wear. So I'm going to wear uh, this color right here today. So I don't usually use a brush. I usually use my finger. And I just put it on like that. And the other finger, just dab, dab, dab. And that's just how I apply my eyeshadow. I've been doing it like this for years. So once I apply my eyeshadow, I use this color palette, which is by e.l.f. because I like this particular uh, brown. And I just dab a little bit of that and I put it above in the crease area up here. Now I definitely need to look in the mirror for this. I just want to show you guys the next step. Okay, as you can see, I have applied the uh, darker uh, eyeshadow to, you know, kind of highlight the actual color itself. And so uh, now on to the next thing. So the next thing I do is that I finish with my uh, matte powder and this is by Revolution. Now usually I use e.l.f. number 330 matte powder to um, kind of, you know, put it all together, if you will. And I use uh, this e.l.f. kabuchi brush. And yeah, I get a good bit. And then I just go over with the darker color to try to, you know, blend it all in there so I'm not overly excessively highlighted <laughs> in other areas. So the next thing I do, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, so I do a lot of things that are probably untraditional from what 
your normal makeup artists do. So this color palette, which is also by Wet n Wild, I like to use this shade right here for my uh, my brush. So yes, I use eyeshadow for my brush. Next thing I do is that I use this highlighter. I think this is by uh, Revlon. I don't remember because the back came off. Uh, I don't remember who this is by, but I do I get uh, with my little fly brush here. I think is by Elf. Uh, it's probably time for me to get a new one. But I go right up here on the cheekbone, and then I just kind of do my nose here, here. Now here's something I'm about to do that I really don't know how to do, which is contour my face. So I just take the same brush that I use for my eyeshadow and I just do what I use, the darker part, what I use up here on my eye, and I just make a line here. So I know it's not correct. I know that there's a way to contour with the darker shade and all that good stuff. I'm not a makeup artist, like I said. I just do what I need to do for me to look presentable. And I take the same kabuchi br brush that I use to put my foundation on with, and then I just blend all of this together. Once that's done, I use um, Elf eyeliner, uh, the black eyeliner. Now, I definitely have to look in the mirror to do this. I just wanted to show you guys that I use this eyeliner. Be right. Now, you see that I have applied my uh, eyeliner, and then I go in with a pencil uh, liner for underneath. I can't remember who this is by. Uh, I actually got this from the dollar store because they sell Wet n Wild products, but this particular liner, it's two in a pack, and it comes with the pencil sharpener, so that's why I just always get that one. So once I put the eyeliner on, I like to use the highlighter again, and I take this brush right here, and I just dab a little bit in the tear ducts here, and I'll put a little bit on my nose, around my cupid's bow, and on the bottom of my chin. <laughs> then I go in with this telescopic uh, by L'Oreal uh, Coral Black for my eyelashes. Uh, I, I wear lashes, but I do put mascara on my eyelashes, but I also like to, I like this because, I think I've showed you guys before, this really thin uh, brush, and it really gets like almost every lash. So again, I need to look in the mirror, because <laughs> the mirror's right here, that's why I keep pointing this way to, to put this on. A little mascara is on at the bottom, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, I also put some more at the top, but I like the way you know, it really grabs each lash. Um, so yeah, I've become a fan of this particular mascara. Okay, last but not least, I go in with my setting spray from Vi Elf. Oof. Get the trusty fan. And fan it out. <laughs> And that's it. So that's my makeup look. I'll show you the whole look, the outfit and everything of the day. Uh, once I finish and with the hair and everything else, that's a whole nother story. All right, as you can see, I've brushed all of this hair out and uh, I'm laying my edges down. And so the last thing I do is I put on my cologne and today I'm wearing Valentino. This is one of my favorite um, fragrances. It's the Valentino and the uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, Libre. So I love the way it smells on me. It's like a musk, but a kind of a, a softer tone. Whereas the Yves Saint Laurent Libre is a little bit stronger. And that's the one that I really like to wear. But I have to get some more because I wore it all out. <laughs> okay, so the last, last thing I showed you my perfume. So then I use uh, for my lips, I use this Makeup Forever. I got this from uh, Sephora, and I like the, I've already kind of lined my lips a little bit with it, and right now I have on, uh, ooh, sorry, getting a headache, um, I have on, uh, what do you call it, not uh, chapstick, the uh, Carmax, I have on the Carmax, but I like this, um, this color, it's like a peach color, and it's by Lamique Beauty, it used to be a client that I used to represent uh, some years ago. And I just like how this goes on like this with the brown. And that's it. 
So that's what I didn't show you uh, before I didn't have on any lip stuff. <laughs> So here's my thrifted outfit of the day. I have my orange clutch with my Ann Miller shoes, my shorts from Old Navy, and my top all thrifted. I'm ready to go out and run my errands for the day. All right, that is it for today's video. Um, I don't really have anything else uh, to do today, just kind of running some errands, running around. So I just wanted to show you guys my little get ready with me. I hope you like it. There's nothing spectacular to getting this space to look like this uh, during the day. Uh, maybe I'll do a uh, un get ready with me showing you how I take off my makeup and what products I use for that. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I appreciate you. And if you like what you see, I really would like you to stick around and subscribe to my channel. For those of you who are the OGs and my original subscribers, thank you so much for being patient with me. I know I've kind of been posting here a little bit sporadically. However, that is about to change, especially when you hear about this new life change that I've had, so I'm excited to share that with you. Just don't want to share it just yet. Still kind of letting things unfold, but when that time comes, you guys will be, not the first to know, but you'll be the first to know. Uh, so anyway, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified as to when I post a new video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.